Welcome to the high moon from hell! Okay, I bet you know what this movie is, so get ready, because the spy got bad reviews after it's been 20 years since it came out. I'm gonna see if I can give this film a little bit of good old-fashioned Big D justice. Here's my review of Just Married. Bad days, entertainment ratings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Duel, better known to as the Big D, and this time around, I bring to you a review of the 2003 rom-com Just Married, released by Fox, directed by Sean Levy, and ran by Sam Harper, starring Ashton Kutcher and Brittany Murphy. The film was produced by Robert Simmons, who recently worked on some of Adam Sandler's films. Despite the film got this big time, it was still a box office success. Anyway, it's about this too that this couple that gets married but then soon takes a turn for the worst. And what happened? Alright, if you're ready, let's get started with the story. The film opens with the, our two main characters, Tom and Sarah, in the airport, then flashes back from the moment they met up to the present. Working class Tom Lezak and upper class Sarah McNerney excuse me, meet up when Tom accidentally hits Sarah with a football on the beach. A few months later, despite opposition from Sarah's rich family, they get married. Each has kept one secret from the other. Tom doesn't tell her that he... Accidentally killed her dog, and Sarah doesn't tell him that she slept with Pierre Prentice, a childhood family friend, after they started dating. Flying to Europe for their honeymoon, they attempt to consummate their marriage by joining the Mile High Club, but fail rather publicly. Arriving at their classy hotel at the foot of the Alps, they find that Pierre has sent them a bottle of cognac, with love, while Tom's friend Kyle has sent them a Thunderstick A200 sex toy. When Tom tries to force the Thundersticks American plug into the European outlet, he shuts down the entire village's electricity. The newly let the newly wet, excuse me, in my get a little tongue tied. Sorry. Leave the hotel after Tom hears. Well, not nah, hears. Uh, here I go again. Sorry, getting too far ahead. Has a heated argument with the hotel owner and pays a large bill to repair the power. While trying to find another hotel, they crash their mini car into a snowbank, stuck until daylight, and once again unable to consummate their marriage. They make their way to Venice, staying at a pension recommended by Tom's father. It turns out to be a wreck, and they soon check out after a cockroach crawls over Tom. When they tried to have SEX. The couple secure a luxurious Venetian hotel with the grudging financial help of Sarah's father. They go sightseeing, but Tom quickly gets bored and abandons her to watch sports in a bar. Sarah runs into Pierre, who is staying at their hotel on business. This prompts her to initiate a conversation with Tom in which they reveal their secrets about her dog's death and Pierre. They each storm out of the hotel and go their separate ways. He he goes back to the bar where he meets American tourist Wendy and she goes sightseeing where Pierre follows her. Of course. Wendy flirts and dances with Tom who escapes through a bathroom window when he realizes she wants to have SEX with. He returns to the hotel learning that Sarah has gone out with Pierre for the evening. Accosted by Wendy, he finds himself tricked into walking her to his hotel room where she rips off her top and her bra before Tom works out that he's on his honeymoon, upon which she finally leaves. Yep. Alright, I'm going to the ending, so you've been warned. As always, you have five seconds to stop this video. Go to the description box below. Fast forward to the time below to avoid the ending spoilers. If you've seen the movie already, please continue. Alright, 
Again, you've been warned. Sarah gets drunk, so Pierre takes her back to the hotel. When he kisses her at the entrance, she slaps him, reminding him that she's on her honeymoon. Tom sees this from the balcony, but not the slap. When he confronts her in their room, Sarah finds Wendy's bra. Pierre bursts in to ask her to run away with him to Seattle, leading to a fight that lands Tom and Sarah in jail, still without consummating their marriage. Pierre bails them out, and the couple angrily decide to go home to L.A., returning to the opening moments of the film. Sarah has moved out, and Tom wants to get back with her. Receiving advice from his father, he attempts to see her at her family's estate, but is unsuccessful trying to ram the gate. However, Sarah opens it herself after seeing Tom make a romantic speech to the camera. They rush again to procure proclaim their love for each other. Sarah's family finally accepts Tom and Sarah's relationship, and off they go in the story. So what did I think of Just Mary? Well, this was at the time when I first watched it. It became a guilty pleasure of mine. Yeah, as I enjoyed yeah, a few good laughs from Ashton Kutcher. I mean, well, I never watched that 70s show. I wasn't really big on that show. I know a lot of you out there have watched it, okay? But even after I saw him in Dude, Where's My Car, which I still have yet to review that one. I'll probably review that later on, okay? Promise. But anyway, he was pretty darn funny in this as Tom. He was so twisted and crazy. The late great Brittany Murphy, who really may have splashed before this in the suspense thriller Don't Say a Word. And of course, you knew her best from Clueless. That's another film I still have yet to review. Played Sarah. And she wasn't too bad. Christian Kane played Peter. Not bad. David Moscow played Kyle. And we have some others. Um, well, stars include Monette Mazur, David Rache, Veronica Cartwright, and even George Gaines. The, yeah, the late, great George Gaines, who you know best from TV's Punky Brewster and the Police Academy franchise. Really awesome. Anyway, despite... Beyond a modest budget of $18 million, the film did well here in the U.S. with $56 million and $45 million overseas, where it went on to make $101 million worldwide, despite receiving bad reviews. Ron Tamayo says that the film's plot is predictable and the overdone Pratt Falls get tiresome. Well, yeah, it has its ups and downs, like, well... As in its moments and what have you. But I still got a few good laughs. Not like I did before. But I still will factually consider it to be. Um, well still maybe. A actual guilty pleasure. Or semi guilty pleasure. Uh. Anyway. The film even received three nominations. At the Razzies. For worst actor. Worst supporting actress. And worst screen couple. But they failed. But they lost. Kutcher lost to Ben Affleck. Murphy lost to Demi Moore. And Kutcher and Murphy lost to both Affleck and J-Lo for, you guessed it, the worst film of all time, Geely. Anyway, I'd much rather watch this over that crap. So anyway, Just Married ha has its... Mo moments. Christoph Beck does a score for it, which that was good. The film was released in January of 2003, so I'm just a little over a month and a half late for its anniversary. So, anyway, after 20 years, I'm going to say the film's okay and what have you, but would I recommend Just Married? Well, only if you are a diehard Ashton Kutcher or Brittany Murphy fan. May she rest in peace. But just to be on the safe side, I'm kind of going to give this maybe a draw. Be but I would only recommend this to hardcore fans of the main stars, Kutcher and Murphy. But 
my verdict would probably be a draw between give it a one-time watch and avoid or avoid it. Okay. Still, I will say Just Married, again, it has its ups and downs. So what did you think of Just Married? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you my review of The 40-Year-Old Virgin. And I'm looking forward to reviewing that. So, anyway, if you like this, check out my reviews for these other, well, warped out rom-coms. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of the crazed, spoofed date movie. The upper right-hand corner is my review of the dark, or should I say black comedy, When Our Rain Love Stinks. Or, if you really want to go for it, go to the bottom left-hand corner and see my review of, and rant of the worst film of all time I just mentioned, Geely. Which, believe that did pretty well, thanks. And the bottom right -hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.